Now, your primetime local news leader, Fox 22 News at 10. Good evening, I'm AJ Douglas and thanks for joining us tonight. First tonight, despite the freezing temperatures, a main tradition carried on to support a good cause. David Ledford has a story. Saturday, the 50th annual Dysart Snowmobile Ride-In paired up with the 36th annual Q106.5 Celebrity Egg Ride. The event raises money for Pine Tree Camp, a summer camp for children and adults with disabilities. Participants lined up on their snowmobiles and filled their shirts with jello eggs instead of regular ones due to the egg shortage. Each egg represents $50 raised for the cause. Everybody really wants to support what we're doing, so it's, it's a wonderful feeling and it's, it's an amazing opportunity for everybody, you know, for us to be able to see the support that we have in the state. Although the ride is typically longer, organizers say it was shortened to just a quick trip from Penobscot Snowmobile Club to Dysarts in Herman in order to keep people safe from the severe weather. Celebrity rider Jake Warren shared his feelings about the day. I was uh, quite glad that we shortened the trip a little bit, uh, despite, you know, my love for snowmobiling. So, uh, yeah, no, definitely going to try and stay warm out there today. I'm really surprised with the turnout, you know, despite the cold weather. It really didn't seem like it stopped anybody from uh, coming out here and supporting Pine Tree Camps today. Other celebrity riders came from around the state to show their support for the cause. I just so proud to be a Mainer because this is what Mainers are all about and it's nice to come halfway up the state. Although Mother Nature tried to slap us around today, um, I would have done the entire event if, um, if need be. Fundraising for Pine Tree Camp will continue throughout the weekend at the Penobscot Snowmobile Club where people can take part in radar runs, going as fast as they can on their snowmobiles while a radar gun clocks their speed. In Herman, David Ledford. ABC 7 and Fox 22 News. Friday, a fire in Garland burned a home to the ground. According to the fire chief Justin Goodrow for the Garland Fire Department, the fire started around 11.30 p.m. Goodrow says that the sub-zero temperatures caused the water in the fire trucks to freeze, making it more difficult to extinguish the flames, and it took firefighters around three hours to put out the fire. The fire has resulted in a total loss of the home, leaving four people displaced and several pets perished in the fire. Guru says that the cause of the fire is still under investigation. As temperatures drop, people have flocked to warming centers around the state. At the Together Place Peer Run Recovery Center in Bangor, people have been coming in off the street to get warm, eat food, and drink hot coffee. The center is not I normally... Feel... I feel great that I'm here today. I feel like, you know, it's, it's what we need to do for the city of Bangor and for the unhoused people. We need to have more shelters, more daytime, more nighttime, overnight shelters. All of them are full right now, and we have to, way too many people unhoused right now. The Together Place will continue to offer help as the cold weather persists. For a list of available warming centers, visit foxbangor.com. In other news, a Bangor man was sentenced to 20 years in prison, with all but 10 suspended on Friday for a stabbing that took place back in 2020. Here's more on that story. On September 16, 2020, my life changed forever. Yeah, you heard it right. I somehow managed to stab my ex-wife, Chelsea. It seems like something bad needs to happen before you realize how precious and short life really can be. Joshua McAuliffe was convicted of elevated aggravated assault and endangering the welfare of a child after stabbing his ex-wife and later grabbing one of his two adopted children while being held at gunpoint by officers. Despite the severity of the charges, dozen of McAuliffe's friends, church members, and adult children say he is a changed man. He's been sober since this happened for two, two years and six months now. He's been going to counseling at Darabo. He, um, he sees a psychiatrist for medication. Um, by all accounts, he is clean, sober, mentally stable. The prosecution says the 10-year sentence is justifiable because the victim's injuries could have been fatal if not treated immediately. I think that the judge uh, took a great deal of time and rendered a sentence that was based on a lot of consideration. Uh, the men and women of the Bangor Police Department and the Bangor Fire Department uh, an ambulance and certainly Northern Light Eastern Maine Medical Center did really incredible uh, work here 
worked together quickly and uh, likely saved a life. Following McAuliffe's 10-year sentence, he will be required to serve six years of probation. The defense request for a two-week stay prior to McAuliffe beginning his sentence was denied. In Bangor, A.J. Douglas, ABC7 and Fox 22 News. If you have to go out to brave the sub-zero temperatures, let's hope your car or truck is also ready. The folks at Union Street Towing have some quick things to keep in mind before you head out the door. Batteries are the big one. Uh, the cars sometimes they just if they haven't been uh, well maintained and tuned up, they just won't start. They'll try and start, but they just won't. Nathan also says check your tires for cracks and have an emergency kit in case you get stranded for a bit. Getting your car into your mechanic for a tune up can also help, although it might be a little too late for this round of wintry weather and something we frequently hear. Make sure your battery is in good shape. Preventative maintenance is the best advice. Bangor Police Department, along with members of Bangor Community Action Team, have been out all week getting the word out about the services that are in place during the spike in chilly temperatures. Sergeant Jason McCamley from Bangor PD says that the counselors and patrol officers are ready to pick anyone up and get them to a warm place. They are also partnering with Bangor Humane Society to have a place for pets to keep warm and safe. The message is call emergency services if you are in need of assistance. We've been instructed that if you find somebody, here's the resources, and that list has gone out a couple of times with this is who to talk to. Bangor police have, excuse me, will have people on standby throughout the duration of the deep freeze to make sure anyone that needs assistance gets it. In other news, in the town of Searsport, police are still trying to find the suspect who vandalized a Waddo County Wood Bank charity truck. Our Matthew Jaronzik has a story. At the end of January, Waldo County Woodshed President Bob McGregor went to take care of one of his wood trucks and found a shocking surprise. I came out one Saturday morning and found that the fuel line had been cut between the gas cap and the fuel tank. As I was under the truck, I realized that it wasn't just a fuel line, but somebody had drilled a hole in the gas tank and drained all the gas out of it. McGregor says the thieves stole half a tank of gas and two five-gallon gas cans filled with gas. The Maine State Police are investigating this crime and are looking to speak to the owners of this blue pickup truck, which may have information about the incident. It made me feel a little bit discouraged and a little bit angry. It just, you know, we're, we're here trying to help people and then somebody comes along and vandalizes our equipment and steals from us. It's just kind of picking the teeth kind of thing. McGregor says the truck was intended to be sold and the money from the sale would be put into the wood bank to buy more logs and anything else needed. As the investigation into this incident continues, McGregor has a message for the vandalizers. We're here just trying to help people uh, make it through the winter and stay warm and to come out here and find our equipment vandalized. Uh, it's really, it's senseless. It makes no sense to me. In Searsmont, Matthew Jaronsik reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22 News. Two women are facing charges after police caught them with a large amount of fentanyl in Bangor Friday night. Maine Drug Enforcement Agency Commander Peter Arano says for the past year they have been investigating a Massachusetts-led drug trafficking organization responsible for the distribution of record amounts of fentanyl throughout Hancock, Somerset, Piscataquist, and Penobscot counties. A number of undercover purchases were made. Last night, investigators identified a rental vehicle coming from the Lawrence, Massachusetts area that had entered Maine to allegedly distribute more fentanyl. At about 10 p.m., the vehicle was stopped on Union Street in Bangor. 24-year-old Chris Melly Guzman and 22-year-old Ari Polanco Caceres of Lawrence, Massachusetts, were arrested and charged with aggravated drug trafficking. Arano says, a search of the vehicle turned up almost a pound and a half of fentanyl that has an estimated street value exceeding $94,000. Arano says the investigation is ongoing and more arrests are likely. Let's turn things over to Conrad Supinski, who's in now with a first look at our forecast.
Happy Saturday and thank you so much. All right, last year it was so cold I did an experiment throwing boiling hot water in the air. Throwing it up becomes ice crystals in the bitterly cold temperatures and it was that cold where these experiments will absolutely work today morning. We had lows around 20 below zero, wind chills around 55 below zero. Some places did break some records out there. Look at these high temperatures we had. Only four degrees today here in town. Seven below zero in Greenville. These were high temperatures today. Yeah, it was bitterly cold. Our feels like temperature right now is at around 12 below zero here in town. Greenville, oh my gosh, 28 below zero. It is incredibly chilly still all over the state, but don't worry, warmer weather will be returning. At least no snow is falling from the sky. We are pretty clear. There are lots of peaks of sunshine all over the state. Tonight though, another chilly night. Low temperatures around one to two below zero and then actually rising through the overnight hours to around five to six degrees by the morning hours. Thanks, Conrad. Still to come on Fox 22 News at 10, we take a look at the Perry Winter Kids Carnival. And we have an update after Towns vow to save an injured bird. Those stories and more local news when we return. Come stop by Triple S Tax Shop, 315 Hamden Road, Carmel, for quality clothing and equestrian gear. Silver Fox Automotive is a family-owned and operated company with more than 30 years of experience. We are originally from the county and offer competitive prices and promise you will be completely satisfied with our work. We offer a stress-free experience to both our new and returning customers. We only use parts from reputable brands to ensure your vehicle is safe to drive. Here at Silver Fox, there will always be a friendly face to greet you. Come see us at 2004 Audlin Road in Herman. It is said that the eyes are the windows into the soul, which begs the question, can a window have a soul? At Renewal by Anderson, we think so. When it's a window forged from fibrous and over 100 years of refined craftsmanship, the essence of who we are transforms into a superior, stunningly beautiful window. So yes, a window can have a soul. For a limited time, take advantage of this great offer. Find out why we are the better way to a better window. Renewal by Anderson. The Sebec Lake House proves that Days World is ready for any challenge. The client had very high standards for this entire project. You can tell by Sebec Lake actually being in granite in the floor. Days World had to match those high standards and we did with the Mitsubishi electric equipment that we carry. They didn't want any diffusers on that first level. You cannot see the diffusers anywhere just like they promised. We trusted Days World with this project and we're very pleased with the results and I highly recommend them. Welcome to Fantasy Island. There is so much here for you. All you have to do is take it. Fantasy Island, Mondays on Fox. Half off deals. Save money at foxbangor.com right now. Get the best deals from restaurants, family fun activities, events, and your favorite stores all in one place. Go to foxbangor.com and click on half off deals and see all the money you could be saving. Half off deals at foxbangor.com. Earlier this week, we told you the tale of a town's plan to save an injured bird. David Ledford has the latest on their wild goose chase. Despite the bitter wind chill, Plymouth residents flocked together Friday to try and rescue an injured Canadian goose. Known as Lucky Duck, the animal has evaded capture since the summer. But with the dropping temperatures, locals ramped up their efforts using fencing, nets, ropes, and even the fire department to try and bring it in. However, after an hour of attempts, would-be rescuers flew the coop. He outsmarted us, outran us, he went in between us, he, he, he did, he's quite a survivor, so we're, we're hoping and praying that he survives this weekend. Those in attendance explained why the duck was so difficult to catch. Well, you know, with that dam, you're not going to get too close to it by that dam, and the boys will get the kayak heels there, but we gave it a try anyway, 
Local resident Steve Dupuis shared his feelings about the day's outcome. I'm a little disappointed. I thought we really could catch him. You know, it's so cold out. I didn't think he'd have much energy. He hasn't eaten for two days. So we, I really was in hopes that we would catch him. While some have called it quits after this failed attempt, Dupuis says he hopes to try again next week, with or without the help of others. In Plymouth, David Ledford, ABC7 and Fox 22 News. You gotta love that story, and I think you're gonna like this next one. For almost a month now, schools across the state have been completing, excuse me, competing for the chance to win big prizes. David Dagnall met with one of the schools to learn more. Welcome to Perry Elementary School. For the past few weeks, Perry Elementary School has been participating in Winter Kids, and they're now reaching the finish line. Winter Kids is a competition between 16 schools in the state. Um, and we get to do different activities, uh, inside, some inside, some out, some to do with nutrition, some to do with family involvement. According to the Winter Kids website, the program and organization are dedicated to increasing outdoor physical activity for kids and their families during the winter months. Schools compete by completing tasks assigned by Winter Kids that range from snowshoeing to smoothie making. We've put a lot of work and dedication into it. Each week, schools are given points based on how well they completed the task. Currently, Perry Elementary School is one of five schools tied for third place, but they're hoping to break out during this final week. I don't, we're not going to be able to get first, but we'll be able to, if we get the bonus point, we'd be able to tie for second. According to Perry Elementary School's principal, Penny Johnson, the school isn't in the running for first place. However, the prize for second place could still make a big difference at the school. It, mean, it means a lot for the school. We're hoping to get some more outdoor activities uh, available for the, the students that we haven't been able to do. Maybe take them on a trip someplace to be able to do some, maybe some skiing or tubing or something like that, that we don't have the um, funds in our general budget for. The winners of the Winter Kids 2023 competition will be decided when all the points are tallied after this week. Yay! Devin Dagnall for ABC7 and Fox 22 News. We'll be right back after this break. Stay with us. Looking to buy or sell a home? The More True team of Better Homes and Gardens works throughout the state of Maine with both buyers and sellers with a focus on the greater Bangor area. Give the ladies of the More True team a call today or visit their Facebook page. It wasn't just a little bit of soot on an old family photo. It wasn't just a couple of books soaked in water. And when you called Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration, you were not just another customer. That family photo hangs high yet again, and those irreplaceable first editions stay cemented in history. You keep the memories, we'll handle the rest. Statewide commercial and residential services. Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. If you're eligible for Medicare and Medicaid, a Medicare Advantage plan from Anthem Maine Health can come with all the benefits you want and zero compromises. Just go to AnthemMainHealth.com slash answers or call 855-753-3928 for a one-on-one -on -one Medicare plan review. Ask about our $0 monthly premium plans that include dental, vision, and hearing coverage, along with transportation, a free gym membership, and $0 copay for prescriptions, all for zero extra cost. Plus, you could be eligible for extra benefits to help you save even more. We have plans with up to $2,500 a year to help you pay for over-the-counter health items, groceries, and living expenses like cell phone, electric, or water bills, all on a single prepaid MasterCard you can use at thousands of locations nationwide. Call Anthem Main Health at 855-753-3928 or visit anthemmainhealth.com slash answers and get a Medicare Advantage plan with zero compromises for you and your wallet. Roto-Rooter has served the greater Bangor area and beyond for 35 years offering plumbing, hydrojetting, snaking, descaling, video inspection, and grease interceptor cleaning services. For all your residential and commercial clogs, call Roto-Rooter today, 990-1234. And away go troubles down the drain. Roto-Rooter. Looking to buy or sell a home? The More True team of Better Homes and Gardens works throughout the state of Maine with both buyers and sellers with a focus on the greater Bangor area. Give the ladies of the More True team a call today or visit their Facebook page.
A military effort underway off the coast of South Carolina to retrieve the debris of a Chinese spy balloon shot out the sky Saturday. Fox's Lucas Tomlinson has more from Washington. Officials say a U.S. Air Force fighter jet launched from Virginia shot down that Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina at 2.39 p.m. Eastern this afternoon. President Biden spoke a short time later. On Wednesday, when I was briefed on the balloon, I ordered the Pentagon to shoot it down on Wednesday as soon as possible. They decided, without doing damage to anyone on, on the ground, they decided that the best time to do that was when it got over water, outside within our within 12 mile limit. This video exclusively shot by our Fox News team in Surfside, South Carolina near Myrtle Beach captured the moment when the Chinese spy balloon was shot down by that U.S. Air Force F-22 Raptor launched from Langley Air Force Base outside Virginia Beach. The balloon was shot down after the F-22 fired a single short-range Sidewinder heat-seeking missile. It appeared to be a direct impact on the balloon's spying apparatus. Senior defense officials say the debris field is now scattered across seven miles in the ocean and about 45 feet of water six miles off the coast of South Carolina, inside U.S. territorial waters. It's notable the spy balloon was not shot down in international airspace. The balloon had been floating over the U.S. for about a week. It took off from mainland China, circumvented Russia before crossing over the Aleutian Islands of Alaska and making its way over Canada and then Montana, home of Maelstrom Air Force Base, one of three bases in the U.S. housing Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missiles. These nuclear missile silos are the same kind of silos that Chinese are building right now in mainland China. Their nuclear stockpile is expected to double in the next decade, according to the Pentagon. Officials say there's relief inside the White House that this Chinese spy balloon was shot down before President Biden gives the State of the Union address on Tuesday. At the White House, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News. After this commercial, students honor a fallen officer and the latest entertainment news from the Hollywood Nation coming up. I promise you we're going to find her. He doesn't get away. The girls, where are they? Alert, Missing Persons Unit, Monday on Fox. I'm 82 years old and I have collapsed arches, which means the first thing that hits the ground is the bone and my, my arch. I came to Comfort Shoes four years ago because I couldn't walk without pain. And she spent so much time on my feet getting the right shoe and we finally found the right pair. Once you made these orthotics for me, I have no pain. These are so comfortable. I have no discomfort. I feel like I could go running. And I thank you and Comfort Shoes for that. Pawn Hill Farms in Brooks, Maine offers 100% grass-fed beef in a variety of ways. Choose between individual cuts that are state inspected and ready to pop in your fridge or freezer. If you're looking to stock up, Pond Hill Farms offer the option to purchase hanging weight by quarter, half, or whole. We also offer live cattle if you're looking to grow your own herd. Pond Hill Farms also offer rental cottages with spectacular views of the farm and the main outdoors. Whether you're looking for fresh Maine meat or a gorgeous place to vacation, Pond Hill Farms is the place to be. Here at Garrett's Auto Sales, we believe in fair prices, superior service, and always treating the customer right. We have a fantastic selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs to choose from, with some priced under $10,000. All our vehicles come with a complimentary 30-day warranty and can be seen at GarrettsAuto.com. Come see us at Garrett's Auto Sales, where we focus on you, the customer. We're located just two miles from the Brewer Walmart on Route 1A. We look forward to meeting you. Realtors at Morrison & Company with Next Home Experience have been serving satisfied clients since 2016. With more than $25 million in sales for 2022 alone, we hold the expertise to get you from under contract to closing during this very personal experience. Our modern and hands-on approach will get you where you want to be, faster and with less hassle. Call us today for your real estate options. Dad, not another showing. <laughs> Hey, business owners, do you have W-2 employees? Did you keep your W-2 employees employed through the pandemic? You may qualify for a government program called ERTC. Businesses can qualify up to $26,000 per employee. We can help make the process easier and make sure it gets filed correctly. Please call Kim Lewis today to get the money you deserve at 1-833-567-8867.
You're watching Fox 22, Bangor. After the death of an officer in an elementary school in California, the students and community come together to pay tribute to his efforts to keep them safe. Fox's Alexis Govia has more. The district is offering mental health support for students left traumatized. It's my daughter, when I picked her up, like she ran to me, she cried, and she was like, Mom, I was very scared, you know, and it was traumatizing, you know, and like she was talking about it all evening, so I know it's not coming out of her head anytime soon, you know, and then this morning she was like, I'm kind of scared to go back. Mental health resources are also available for staff and parents. We're going to go into every single classroom, um, we're going to talk to the classes about what happened yesterday and how we can move forward together and united. Students made hearts with messages expressing how they were feeling this morning and letting law enforcement know how thankful they are for their efforts to keep them safe. Mental health clinicians are at hand to talk with students as well as review coping skills. We're also allowing these students to come into a room that we have here available for them um, if they need some time to talk a little bit more, um, if they also need to just um, learn some coping skills. And it is not just the students who are feeling that trauma. It, it, uh, it's a hard, it's, you're, I'm going to choke up on this one. It's a hard one because of the, off, on, what happened to the officer. I don't know that, I can only say that it will take some time to get over this and time to heal, but it's a, it's a difficult situation. And when one of your law enforcement officers are injured or hurt, um, or in this, in this case killed, it's traumatic to everybody. And so I think with members of his own department, members of the community, um, it makes you feel a little less safe. I think we just have to come together as a community and know that um, these are rare incidents and that this is a good community and it's a safe community with many good people. In Selma, I'm Alexis Govea, Fox 26 News. Comedy legends roast each other. A legendary action hero gets his own reality show and more. Here's Fox's Ashley Devorkin with the latest from the Hollywood Nation. Can you outline the details of your mission? James Reese returns, Sylvester Stallone shares, and comedians quarrel in the Hollywood Nation. Over actor. Under actor. Steve Martin and Ben Stiller exchange funny insults in two different sneak peeks for Pepsi Zero Sugar's upcoming Super Bowl commercial. In one ad, the shady comments between the duo include Martin calling Stiller a Nepo baby after he's called a banjo player. In the other, the comedians argue over who is the better actor. Both will appear in their own standalone ads. Hello? Uh, John? Another celebrity-filled Super Bowl ad. John Hamm and Brie Larson are stuck in a refrigerator in a 15-second teaser for Hellman's Mayonnaise upcoming commercial. Check out all the full star-studded ads during the big game February 12th. Stallone. Sylvester Stallone will give cameras access to his personal life. The legendary action star's reality show The Family Stallone will premiere on Paramount Plus this spring. The eight-episode docu-series features his wife and daughters. Paramount revealed the show and welcomed the family in a new Super Bowl ad for its streamer, with the Rocky star hanging from his own face carved into Paramount Mountain. I'm not going to tell you again. And Chris Pratt will be back in action as Lieutenant Commander James Reese. According to Deadline, Prime Video renewed his hit Navy SEAL drama, The Terminal List, for a second season. In addition, a prequel spinoff focused on Taylor Kitsch's character is in development. Answers. Blood. In Hollywood, Ashley Devorkin, Fox News. Coming up next, we'll take a look at our full five-day forecast and sports is next with Ryan Sudol. Find meaningful work in direct care, no matter where you are in life. The difference that you make in somebody else's life is absolutely incredible. Visit mainjobs.care slash WVII to learn more and make an impact through a compassionate career.
Maine Commercial Solar offers a variety of services, including solar system design, sales, maintenance, and installation. Maine Commercial Solar can help you with existing or new systems. We offer packages for installation by others, or we can help you build your own solar array, smaller residential, or anything in between. Maine Commercial Solar is currently hiring in Herman for multiple positions. We offer competitive pay, a 3% IRA match, vacation, holiday time, and a family-oriented environment. If interested, please call Jason at 848-7486. Nana's Attic started many years ago for me. When I was a young fellow, I used to go with my grandmother collecting antiques and selling antiques. I went on many trips with Nana as I was fascinated with the world of antiques and the history behind old things. They remind you of days that have gone by, but spark memories of youth and hanging out with loved ones that are no longer with us. Now I've made that dream a reality. First with my Ellsworth Flea Market and now my own store, Nana's Attic and then some, located in the old Olympia Sports in Ellsworth, where you'll find treasures and antiques galore. Get the lowest prices of the season on ultra-luxurious stationery and reclining furniture during Flex Deals Latitude Sale. Feel the comfort and luxury of our Port Royal and Rhapsody leather and fabric sectionals. Or feel the power of our Wicklow and Miller leather power reclining collection. All made with the heart of steel. The quality and comfort is Flex Steel. Save big today during Flex Deals Latitude Sale. Dorsey Furniture, Route 1A Holden, open seven days a week until 5 p.m. Find meaningful work and direct care and improve the quality of life of others. The right personality and character traits, in my opinion, to be a DSP is kind, caring, and understanding. Visit mainjobs.care slash WFVX to learn more and make an impact through a compassionate career. I'm going to make this right. You can tell me the truth. Accused, Tuesday on Fox. All right, folks, hopefully you stayed warm and bundled up, especially early today morning. We had temperatures around 20 below zero with the wind chill around 55 below zero here in town. It was bitterly cold. Five minutes of exposed skin could have caused some frostbite. So hopefully folks are doing all well. Most of that cold air is starting to retreat now. It's starting to make its way back up into Canada. And look what's going on. All that warmer air from the south, it's making its way up north. Chicago, 41 degrees. They were just that well below zero degrees just 36 hours ago. So yes, milder air is finally returning. Our feels like temperatures are still cold. It feels like 12 below here in town, uh, 9 below in Bar Harbor. So by the coast, the slightly better Greenville though it currently feels like 28 degrees below zero so please bundle up and stay safe out there folks future temperatures do improve we're going to see around freezing mark by tomorrow afternoon and our average should be around 29 degrees this time of year and look what happens wow the light at the end of the tunnel exactly what we need I told you it was going to be a quick shot of cold there look at Wednesday 41 degrees 39 39 on Thursday and Friday once again. So yes, a lot milder air and well above average temperatures will be making its way back into the area, melting a lot of our snow away. Winds were very gusty earlier, especially yesterday, all throughout the day yesterday. Look what happened Sunday, especially into Monday. Winds will really start to die down and it is going to feel much, much nicer with those warmer temperatures from the south finally making its way here in town. Not much going on though with precipitation. We don't have anything falling from the sky. Few clouds passing by in general. Lots of sunshine. We will have a little bit more snow, especially tomorrow morning into the early afternoon hours. It doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of accumulations. Maybe a trace here in town. An inch at most in some spots, maybe two inches in some isolated locations. But in general, this will just be a passing light snow event. Tonight, though, temperatures will be hovering at around two below zero. This is going to be early in the overnight hours, quickly increasing throughout the night. So by the morning hours, we're looking at around six, maybe seven degrees above zero. So it's going to start to uh, get much, much warmer throughout the night. And then tomorrow, of course, much warmer air returns. Temperatures will be hovering at around the freezing mark, cloudy skies. And yes, we will have a couple of those flurries in the area. Minor, minor accumulations, folks. So nothing to really worry about, um, but definitely a dusting or two will be likely. Our extended forecast outlook does show lots of sunshine on Monday. Temperatures above freezing, so we will have a little bit of melting of the snow. Tuesday, same story, slightly above freezing. 
And then a Tuesday night, we will get more chances of rain and snow. Wednesday, look at those temperatures, 41 degrees with lots of sunshine ahead of another low pressure system moving in on Thursday with more chances of rain and snow and temperatures back up well above average in those upper 30s to lower 40s. Thanks, Conrad. Again, sports is next with Ryan Sudol. Stay with us. Cary Medical Center in Caribou, Maine is recruiting for physical therapists. We offer generous benefits, competitive wages, loan forgiveness, relocation assistance, and you'll join a dynamic team of rehab professionals. Our hospital has been named one of the best places to work in Maine two years in a row. Ready for a new adventure? Do you have a passion for excellence? Learn more at carrymedicalcenter.org or call 207-498-1270. Cary Medical Center, we're creating healthier communities. Silver Fox Automotive is a family owned and operated company with more than 30 years of experience. We are originally from the county and offer competitive prices and promise you will be completely satisfied with our work. We offer a stress-free experience to both our new and returning customers. We only use parts from reputable brands to ensure your vehicle is safe to drive. Here at Silver Fox, there will always be a friendly face to greet you. Come see us at 2004 Audlin Road in Herman. When you're ready to tackle your next building project, depend on the knowledge and experience of Hammond Lumber Company. Hammond's Home Planning Center will turn your ideas into accurate conceptual drawings and 3D visualization is available. Your Hammond sales rep will prepare a materials list and cost estimate. And when you buy all of your materials from them, Hammond will refund all of your design fees. Hammond can deliver your order from any of their 22 locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner since 1953. Why should your new floor come from Carpet One? Because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home. We're part of your community, and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores. So you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. The Celebrity Music Play Along game is here. Shake it off. Yeah! Celebrity Name That Tune, Wednesday on Fox. Hey everybody, Ryan Sudol here. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, it's almost tournament time for high school hoops, so the regular season is coming to a close, but another basketball season has just begun. Many unified teams in the area started their seasons this past week, including Brewer and Bucksport, who played each other in their season openers on Friday. It was an amazing event with great action back and forth and, of course, a halftime dance party. But who won the game doesn't matter in the grand scheme. For both squads, the experience is the biggest victory that there is. This is one of the best jobs that you can have. I mean, this is just pure joy at all times. These kids get to do something, like I said, they don't normally get to do and have some moments that other kids get to experience that they don't normally. And, and it's, it's awesome to watch them get out there and just enjoy themselves. It's super fun. It's a great opportunity for them. And I mean, they show up every single day with such a positive attitude. It just makes me happy just coming here and working out with them. As for the stars on the court, Tristan Davis was the high scorer for the Bucks, while Samantha Pachelski and Ashlyn Smith had top marks for Brewer. All three say they are very happy to be involved in an environment as supportive and accepting from all sides as unified. It feels equal. It feels like people appreciate each team. I'm very excited about this and I've made some very good friends. This is like my like second home. Everyone on this team is just like really like they're kind. They don't care about like what people think. This just helped me get with my friends, get together with everyone, just get along and my personality just shows like when I'm with everyone. That's awesome right there. Let's stick with hoops and head to Old Town where Coyote Girls Hoops is at the top of B North and we're 16 and 0 heading into Saturday's matchup with Bucksport. Let's see if they can make it 17. Great cause at Old Town today as well with coaches versus cancer. Let's start second quarter. Old Town's Alexis DeGrasse with the strip. She'll take it all the way to the hole for two. One of many stealing scores on the day for the team. Final seconds of the quarter now. DeGrasse over to Taylor Loring. The freshman swishes the corner three at the horn. Coyotes up big at the break. Third quarter. 
Bucksport on the board. Jetta Shook pulls up for the long range two. Shooters roll and count it. But the Coyotes just doing what they do. Here's Loring to Gabby Cody. Quick pass to Sage Evans underneath for two. That stuff is why they're still unbeaten. Coyotes win it 60 to 30. And now to the pit in Orono. Maine men's basketball looking for a big conference win against UMBC Saturday. First half, the nation steals leader. Kellen Tynes with the takeaway and he takes flight. Slam dunk. Black Bears up nine later. Retrievers are going to cash in. Jarvis Doles using his size to get past Milo's Nanatic for the lay-in. But the points would be few and far between for the Retrievers from there. Black Bears rolled in the second half. Tynes brings it up court off the steal and shoots it to Getty Huzapetis. He finishes at the rim. Finally, here's Tynes working it into the paint. Hop step, lay-in, count it and one. Black Bears, their largest conference win since 93. They win it 84 to 49. And hey, how about we hit the ice? Brewer hosting Mesolanski in boys hockey action on Saturday. First period, Brewers Jed Gilpatrick in the open ice. How about that wrister? It hits the back of the net, one nothing, witches. About a minute later, here comes Grady Venetistein on the break, and he five holes it. It's two to nothing, Brewer. Let's go to the second period now. Mesolanski down two to one. Denny Martin, nice pass to Garrett Card, and he knocks it in. We got a tie hockey game. It is two to two. Later, Eagles' Owen Kirk brings it in close, tries a backhander. It's saved, but Jack Hammond cleans it up. Eagles lead three to two. This game would need overtime to decide it as Mesolanski wins it five to four. Okay, now let's go to some other scores from the area. Women's basketball, UMBC defeats Maine 74 to 57. Class B boys basketball, Old Town, just like the girls did, routes Bucksport 83 to 44. And in high school girls hockey, the Pioneers continue their dominance 9 0 over Portland. And Oxford Hills defeats Bangor 65 to 46 in Class A girls action. Okay, so we know that the wind chill was in the negative 40s recently, but it's never too early to get ready for some baseball. Let's end on a warm note. It's closer than you think because Friday was Red Sox truck day. That's the day where all of the equipment plus bubblegum and sunflower seeds leaves Fenway and starts the trek down to Florida for spring training. 20,000 baseballs, 1,100 bats, 200 gloves and helmets all waiting for the Sox once they get down there at the end of this month. Can't wait for that and warmer temperatures. Well, that's all the time we have for sports. I'm Ryan Sudall. We'll be back right after the break. Comfy, cozy, relaxing. Not Joe. Joe's Furniture. Joe's Furniture Warehouse in Newport is the place to find rockers, recliners, sofas, and easy chairs. Quality furniture, affordable prices. Not your average Joe. Joe's Furniture Warehouse, Grogan Avenue in Newport. If you're eligible for Medicare and Medicaid, a Medicare Advantage plan from Anthem Maine Health can come with all the benefits you want and zero compromises. Just go to AnthemMainHealth.com slash answers or call 855-753-3928 for a one-on-one -on -one Medicare plan review. Ask about our $0 monthly premium plans that include dental, vision, and hearing coverage, along with transportation, a free gym membership, and $0 copay for prescriptions, all for zero extra cost. Plus, you could be eligible for extra benefits to help you save even more. We have plans with up to $2,500 a year to help you pay for over-the-counter health items, groceries, and living expenses like cell phone, electric, or water bills, all on a single prepaid MasterCard you can use at thousands of locations nationwide. Call Anthem Main Health at 855-753-3928 or visit anthemmainhealth.com slash answers and get a Medicare Advantage plan with zero compromises for you and your wallet. CEM DP Porter Contractors has been in business for over 40 years in the Bangor area. We specialize in design build for commercial, medical, and residential. We can assist our customers with anything from lot procurement to help you find financing for your project, along with building maintenance and renovation. CEM DP Porter Contractors is currently hiring a Herman for multiple positions, including carpenters and laborers. We offer vacation, holidays, a 3% IRA match, and competitive pay. If interested in applying, please contact Jason at 207-848-7486. Roto-Rooter has served the greater Bangor area and beyond for 35 years offering plumbing, hydrojetting, snaking, descaling, video inspection and grease interceptor cleaning services. 
For all your residential and commercial clogs, call Roto-Rooter today, 990-1234. And away go troubles down the drain, Roto-Rooter. Durable, sturdy, stylish. Not Joe. Joe's Furniture. Joe's Furniture Warehouse in Newport is the place to find solid wood, built to last, made in main dressers, bureaus, and nightstands. Not your average Joe. Joe's Furniture Warehouse, Grogan Avenue in Newport. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Consumers are blaming high costs for not buying healthy foods. A survey from Cleveland Clinic says 46% of Americans believe expensive healthy foods are pricey. It's their biggest barrier to eating healthy. Doctors say eating healthy doesn't have to be expensive, as eating a variety of vegetables and fruits is more important than buying organic foods. People are being encouraged to think about healthy eating, as February is American Heart Month. Valentine's Day is approaching, and while it's a holiday to celebrate love, one major realtor wants to help those planning to break up with their partner. Walmart is selling a breakup bear. Yes, a breakup bear. The bear is wearing a shirt that says a message, bye-bye. It is holding a broken heart that spells love. The bear will sing and dance to the hit and sing song, bye-bye-bye. When you squeeze the button on its foot, the breakup bear costs roughly $17. I have no advice except you might want to save your $17. <laughs> all right, on that note, that's all for tonight. We hope you have a great rest of the evening. See you back here at 10 tomorrow. Stay safe and stay warm.